It's like, how can you not be blown away when you hear about the scale of the universe and that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, it's, it's just a, a, it's a, a manifestation of our curiosity. That's, that's all right. it is. Um, with, with a, with a very important caveat, which is really important, actually, which is one of my great heroes, Richard Feynman, wrote a great essay called The Value of Science in 1955, in which he reflected on what's the most valuable thing that the study of nature teaches us and how that can be used in other fields of human endeavour. And um, the most important thing he said was that science, nature, very often tells you that you are wrong right so, so whatever your opinion is and however important you are um, if your view of nature is wrong then nature will ultimately tell you and you have to accept it mm -hmm. so he said that scientists have a great deal of experience with being wrong and um, you, it's a delightful experience because you've learned something so the, the way you thought the world works turns out not to be and so you know something that, that and you've, you've learned something so you, you understand more and um, so he called science a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance which I think is a brilliant <laughs> like definition. Yeah. And, uh, but his point was that you can take that, right? Take that delight in being wrong. The fact that you don't know, because obviously in order to do research, you have to first accept that you don't know, mm -hmm. otherwise you wouldn't do research. That's the way that we have built our civilization. But you can take that idea and transplant it to other fields of endeavor, such as politics, for example. So imagine that our politicians um, uh, started every speech by saying, well, of course, you know, I could be wrong here. Of course, I don't know. Uh, it's really complicated. But the best, uh, the best uh, variability at the moment, I think this is a way to go. And if we find some, we make some observations and it's not gone quite right, then we'll just change a bit and we'll fiddle around and we'll do something else. So we'll do, we'll increase taxes or we'll decrease taxes or we'll change the way that we target environmental emissions or something, anything, whatever it is. I imagine if they said that then we would live in a profoundly better world.